Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we're taking a look at Stories The Path of Destinies by Spearhead Games. This is a early look at a game that's not released yet, also there's no specific release date other than sometime at the beginning of 2016. It's available, or will be available, on Steam and PS4, so it's saying press X to play right now because this particular early build they've sent me, it's only really meant for controllers, however they've promised that the full PC release will have mouse and keyboard support, however. I'm using a controller for this, it says press X to play but I'll be pressing A because it's laid out like a PS4 controller but I'm using a 360 one, but we'll make do and we'll get a little bit of the setup to the story once I press on new game. I can't go down to options or anything like that because again, it's this is an early build just for kind of previews and what have you. Well, to quickly go over the general setup, you play as a, an ex-pirate fox person who becomes the, the final saviour of something and you're being pursued by an army of crows. Sounds sounds good? Good. Let's All get it. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renardo a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renardo could only rescue him, Renardo dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. So there you go, that's the setup to the, the general gist of the story. It's essentially FTL, but with furries instead of aliens. And the other main draw is that you get to craft the story based on the decisions you want to make. So the first choice we have here is whether or not you save your long lost friend who apparently claims to have some way to change the outcome of the rebellion, or you can go after this ancient weapon that may or may not be a game changer. So both don't take that long to get through, I'm not sure if I will get through both variants in this video, but we'll do the, the saving, what was his name, Lapino. Yeah, you can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time and Renardo needed a game changer. Even though Lupino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. So it's, do you want to stick with your friend or do you want to go for the ancient thing? It, is, it isn't the same level either when you pick which choice you want here. It's an entirely different level. Same enemies, but that could just be, you know, you're, you're hunted by crows, you're fighting them regardless. We will go after Lupino, so we'll hear a bit more story here, and then we'll get into how the game plays. Ah, Lupino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lupino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lupino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. So the game does have a good sense of humour, it's got a tongue-in-cheek thing, there's some, you know, wink-wink, nudge-nudge, nudgy, nudges, nods that you'll pick up as we play here, I suspect. And it's a bit like uh, a bastion, in that this the narrator kind of talks about how you're playing as you play. So I may have to speak over him at some point, so there is subtitles though, so you should be able to read what he's saying regardless. Alright, it's loading us into the first stage here. This is made in the Unreal 4 engine, by the way. There we are. Apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had everybody fled the ravens? 
Alright, so this is how the game looks when it plays. I'll be saying the Xbox 360 buttons, by the way, so they won't match up to any prompts that I get in-game, but I'm pressing A to do, like, a teleport. That's how we dash around in combat and whatnot, and I can do three in a row before it needs to recharge. The bars are along the bottom screen. My health and selected weapon are in the top corner. The bar below my health is, like, my special. Right now, if I hold R2, it makes, like, AOE fire around me. Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. So that's him reacting to the fact I'm destroying a bunch of stuff. That was me pressing X just to do a normal swing. I also have some upgrades already that I assume you have to earn in the full game. So I've got a hook shot on Y and B does nothing. We'll take a better look at the actual upgrading soon. So the music is a little bit loud, isn't it? There's no way for me to turn it down. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just have to make do with slightly loud music. So the combat is a, is a little bit like... Arkham combat in that you can counter. You don't press a different button to counter though, you just wait until the enemies have an exclamation mark above their head and then you press the attack button specifically then you'll do a special attack. A lot of crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting bench. That's funny you should mention that. There's a crafting bench right here, almost as if to tutorialise what I'm doing here. So there isn't any gems in this build, but we can take a quick look at what they are. It looks like you have space for three, and then in the full game there's a bunch of them that give you certain things depending on how you want to customise your character. But for now, it's just going to quickly show us how to upgrade a sword. We're currently equipped with that one, which, while attacking, sets all enemies on fire. It looks like there's some kind of ice one. Oh, wait, no. Where's that wind? No, winter thorn, yeah. Ice, and then void blade. But we've got this hero sword, and we're going to upgrade it so that it looks badass, as you can see it's saying there. Let's do it. trusty old sword was always a little better when he sharpened it. So now it's got the special rule on it where if we hold R2 with that sword equipped, we heal health. It also opens certain doors. So there we go, we have a better sword now. Alright, let's move on a little bit and we'll get into some combat. Oh, actually no, we'll take a look at the outer first, although we don't have a level to spend just yet. So, these are all the points that we have to start. Again, this might not be what you actually start with in the full game, this is just what you have for the build. So we have the hook shot I was mentioning, we've got the supernatural dash. We can dash through enemies to damage them. Uh, defense reflexes, that's the counter essentially attack reflexes and then we also just have some more max HP. What is this one? And more stamina. Is stamina the bars to do the dodges I wonder? Hmm. Either way, what else is there here that we haven't got in this build? Kick and throw distance is increased. Recover from being hit almost instantly. Ultimate sword foo. Oh yeah that's right, you've been trained to use sword foo. I forgot about that. Stunning dash, dash through shield, so they're shielded enemies eventually. There isn't in this build though. More damage from hook shots. Right, so that's a little glimpse of the kind of things you can get. We will get one level as we play through this section. You can't really get anything in like noon flashy from the later levels. But anyway, let's get into combat against some crow enemies. By the way, I'm recording this on a very stormy day, so if my dog goes nuts barking at the wind because she's weird like that, I'll mute and just kind of like fight. So I'll let one of them attack me. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, <laughs> but I actually still got away with it because I, I pressed the Arkham def uh, counter button. There we are, that's how you block. It actually sits and lets you press, like, I'm not pressing anything, so that's why it's kind of just freezing time, and then I pressed to do the follow-up. It's very satisfying, I like the fluid animations as well. And these are your basic enemy. I pressed the Arkham counter button again. <laughs> I have a problem. So there we are. Ravens had taken I got hit one, so let's heal a little bit. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed to the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. I didn't actually come down this way last time. I see a... Uh... Oh, there is actually these drone things. I thought these drone things were exclusive to the story if you take it in the other direction. I don't actually know what happens if they catch you. The village was silent. Empty. No cows loaded, no chickens clucked. The villagers had fled from the fleet, picking everything they could. They must have heard what the ravens did to civilians. And I'd have hoped they'd found safety. Oh, I never actually found this last time. Alright, what did I miss by not coming over here? Ah, more materials. You found a gem. Oh, all right. As it turns out, <laughs> as it turns out, there are gems in the build. I just never found them because I didn't do enough exploration. There you go. 
All right, well, we will find another upgrade bench, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if we do actually find one, or maybe I should just run back. It shouldn't take me that long to go back. So I don't know if it is just as a result of this being a preview build or whatnot. I have noticed some kind of FPS stuttering every now and then. It's not my PC, because I'm using a very high-end PC. So it may just be a little bit unstable at this point. Yeah, we do have a gem. So, we got a physical resistance. There you go. Now, did we get enough materials to make something? No. Alright, just checking. By the way, I assume swords aren't at maximum level after one upgrade. It'll probably just, again, be for the purposes of this being an early preview. Alright, we'll take the other route now and carry on. I'm at full HP, so I don't need to sit and wreck some barrels, I think. Well, that might make the narrator say something if I do more of it. Let's see, over here. Actually, you know what? I don't think it's an FPS issue. I think it's a V-Sync issue. That's what it could be. What did we get there? We got a Fire Essence. Alright. Oh. This is, again, something I never noticed. Let's have a little look down here, then. I regret not doing my due diligence before playing. Uh, before recording, rather. Okay. What do we have in here? A fight, I reckon. Yeah, it looks like an arena. Never more. I can't overemphasize how often I'm pressing the the Arkham game counter button when I see the exclamation marks. So I can change my other weapon, by the way. There we are. I'm back to this, the fire sword. Like so. Also, I just missed the firefox joke. Ready to jump faster, stronger, bolder. If only he could figure out which. Ah, now I've found one of these before and I did nothing. Ah, oh, so they're teleport pads, that's what they are. I wondered, because I, yeah, I came down via this way. There was a fight in there that I did, but this is a way to skip it. I see. So we got our level. Ready to learn new things. Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. Indeed, school is for losers. That's a joke. Let's get Perfect Strikes combos. Why not? He missed his old skills. He welcomed them back like he was at a reunion. Nobody likes reunions. There's another chest I managed to miss. Hang on. Oh, hey, I want to hear the narration for that line of dialogue it just did. It did subtitles, but it didn't play the sound file. You couldn't go sticking jewels in your gauntlet just anywhere. What if you dropped one and broke it? Luckily, there was a bench right here. Yeah, I'm embarrassed that not only did I miss one gem, I actually missed two. Alright, so that's where we just were. So we just need to head on. And once we get to the graveyard, that's where we'll get another story beat. Oh, in fact, we're at the graveyard now, after this fight, of course. Ow. That's what we have hookshot for, although they do continuously teleport. Chop the poor sod in half. Alright, and now I believe we shall get our story beat. Run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Over this way. Oh, one more fight first. Let's burn them. Because it looks pretty. Yeah, I prefer the fire sword to the heal sword, I feel. We actually got some ore there. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. 
Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. So if I'd gone to get the the first part of the Sky Ripper, you still get given the same choice of going to get the core, or he might just decide to go see Zenobia because actually they have a past, they, they train together. So for the description of this one, if you'd went the other route, it says, for no good reason you decided instead, rather than get the power source for the thing you got, you wanted to go see Zenobia. So that is actually where, whichever route you take, the build ends when we make our decision here. So you can either go with the plan Filipino has to kidnap Zenobia, or you can go after the power source for a thing you don't actually have. We'll pick this one just to hear a little bit. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. There you are. Thank you for playing. This was a short glimpse of stories of Passive Destinies coming to PS4 and also PC. It doesn't say that there, but it is on PC as well. I, I swear I double checked that it wasn't just a PC build they were giving me. In sometime early this year, I don't know. I also don't have a price to offer you, so I can't even say if I think they're asking for something that's fair. I don't know. This is just bringing something to your attention that I've actually enjoyed playing. I like the, the visual style. I like the, the divergent paths the story can take. I think you've probably seen enough. I don't need to play through the other build. Plus, if this does eventually become a public demo, that means you will have a reason to see the other way that the story can play out in terms of what's available in this build anyway. So yeah, this has been a look at Stories of Path of Destinies by Spearhead Games. I'm not sure what link I'll have in the description box below. I'll have something of relevance for you to go find out more information if you're after it. And maybe look out for more in the future if they give me a release build. I guess we'll see. Please leave a like if you want to share support to me or developers. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.